hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your favorite doctor dr cc and today we shall be busting a big myth can you really treat infections without antibiotics you have probably heard a lot of people say don't worry just take ginger or garlic or cloves you'll be all fine and feel like brand new just take that ginger tea just take that garlic tea you'll be fine but is that really true okay let's start with the basic what are infections an infection actually happens when an harmful microorganisms which could either be bacteria fungi parasites or virus invades your body and starts multiplying now not all infections are the same some are minor and can just go away on their own without even any treatment while others can actually go on to become life-threatening if not treated properly now what are the different types of infection we have different types of infection majorly four types we have bacteria infection we have virus infection we have parasitic infection and we have viral infection what are some common bacteria infections we have pneumonia we have uti and a very common organism is staphylococcus. it actually can be implicated in bacteria infections then we have viral infections such as flu cold even covid 19 and common cold now what about fungal infections Fungal infections are the ones that you see like ringworm or vagina yeast infection yes those are fungal what about parasitic Parasitic can be something like malaria or intestinal worms. Now listen carefully. Antibiotics only works with bacteria infections. They won't help you fight viruses. They won't help you fight parasitic. They won't help you fight fungal infections. So read my lip. Antibiotics only for bacteria infection. For example, if you have a cold or a flu, that is not a bacteria infection. That is most likely a viral infection. So antibiotics won't work. So taking them is actually unnecessary and can even cause more harm. So stop it. So if you are the kind of person that, ah, I'm having this very small, I'm having, I'm having runny nose. It's like I'm sneezing. Then you next thing you are going to go and buy antibiotics. Stop it. Now, can the body actually heal itself? Some people may ask yes in many cases your immune system is actually strong enough to fight off minor infections especially viral infections like cold or flu or some minor throat infections so all you just need to do is just equip yourself with rest hydration good nutrition and sleep those are your best weapons and before you know it you will feel better but when the infection is bacteria like a strep throat or urinary tract infection antibiotics may become necessary especially if the symptoms are worsening some people may ask i know a lot of natural remedies that work well there's a lot of confusion when it comes to this let's talk about garlic ginger turmeric cloves the usual suspects in natural healing yes these ingredients do have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects or properties some of them might even have mild antimicrobial effects in lab studies but here's the truth they are not strong enough to cure a serious infection like typhoid pneumonia or sepsis natural remedies can actually help support your immune system but they are not replacements read my lips they are not replacements for medically prescribed treatments self-medication is one of the biggest challenge we have in nigeria and even many parts of africa people use a lot of leftover medications from friends and families or some people just walk into a nearby chemist and just ask or purchase antibiotics without knowing what they are treating it is actually wrong because the right thing is for you to visit the clinic or a nearby hospital get tested and get prescribed medications by a doctor don't just walk into a nearby chemist and buy all sorts of antibiotics because you don't even know what you're treating now here are the implications or the consequences of using antibiotics without even knowing what you're treating one antibiotics resistance worsening of the illness an illness that you should have gone to the hospital to see a doctor and get the right diagnosis and commence the right treatment you're there doing trial and error and your illness worsens so many of these drugs have side effects you don't even know if you're allergic to this drug you just go you take it then most often times delayed recovery you should have gone to the hospital get treated and feel better but no because you went to a walk-in chemist to get medication it delays your recovery so here is my advice to you all so if you want to ask can someone treat infections without antibiotics yes sometimes but only if it is a mild infection or if your doctor says it is safe to monitor 
So sometimes you might even go to the hospital. I see a lot of patients come to the clinic. You might even want to get to the hospital. And the doctor says, oh, it's just a viral infection. Don't worry. Just rest, drink water, eat well, and you'll be fine. Some people are not even usually convinced after saying that. They still believe they need medications. So if the doctor says it's safe to monitor, you are good to go. Use antibiotics only when prescribed. And always finish your dose. Remember, not every infection needs antibiotics. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Until next time, stay informed, stay empowered, stay healthy. It's Dr. CC. See you on my next video. Bye.